So when you find a business to buy, um, what's the best way to protect yourself um, to make sure that you're obviously paying a fair price and that you are not buying a basket case? Well, um, I guess there are a number of things that you can do when you make an acquisition. Um, firstly, you obviously want to find the right business that fits for you. So a lot of time should be spent on identifying the right business that potentially would fit well in yours. Um, so this could be a vertical um acquisition or it could be horizontal so by that i mean you could go and buy a competitor or you could go and buy a related business so for example i'm invested in a marketing agency digital marketing agency and they have a client base of around 500 clients and they knew that if they could offer pr to those clients and um, that they would be able to generate extra revenue so they did a vertical um, acquisition by buying a PR business rather than another competitor, i.e. another digital marketing agency. So firstly, it's about spending the time in identifying the opportunity. Um, of course, doing your due diligence and making sure that you look at absolutely every aspect of the business, not just about what you're actually buying, but also the commercial due diligence around what they do well, what they don't do well, what the opportunities for the business are, what the competition is like, etc. cetera. Um, you wanna make sure you're paying a fair price. So typically speaking, in a debt-free profitable business in pretty much any sector, Typically, small and medium enterprises are changing hands for anywhere between two and five times their EBIT, so earnings before interest and tax, or a sort of different way of saying profit, really. Um, so uh, if you're paying more than that, it's not to say that you shouldn't, um, but if you're paying more than that, then I guess you need to be making sure that the value you're getting um, obviously represents what you're paying. Um, when you put the sale and purchase agreement together, um, so the legal contract, you wanna make sure you've got some real good warranties to make sure that you're protected, that if you actually go and buy the business and, and get in there and find that something that you were told wasn't true or hasn't materialized, that you've got some recourse in terms of you could sue under the warranties. And you can also insure the warranties and that goes both ways from not just when you're buying a business, but also from a, um, when you sell a business, you can insure against those uh, warranties. Um, and of course, you can be creative with regards to the deal structure. So, you know, if you were going to pay a million pounds for a business, um, do you pay all of that in cash up front on day one? Or could you offer to pay half of it up front? And then the other half, you could either defer over a period of time or peg it on an earn out. So basically by that, I mean, you could, you could um, put the other half a million that you're due to pay for the business um, conditional on the on the business continuing to perform uh, i.e. by making a certain revenue or a certain profit or achieving a certain growth or retaining a certain number of customers you can peg an earn out to pretty much any corporate objective but it just means that you're protecting yourself in that you're not putting all of your cash into an acquisition you are um, uh, deferring or, or leaving some um, in the um, in the deal structure so if things don't work out as planned obviously you're not hung out to the tune of whatever it is you've agreed to pay so they're just a few very brief um, suggestions on how you can protect yourself when you're acquiring a business um, and for those people that come on my program we cover this in obviously a lot more detail